What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at my top five hidden features on my 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV. And no, before you comment, one of my hidden features is not that it will spontaneously combust and burst into flames, but I did make a video on it. Not just talking about the bolt fires, but talking about electric vehicle fires in general and the potential ramifications of these kind of issues. If you're interested in that video, I'll have a clip here on screen and I'll have it linked down in the description. Definitely go check it out. And before we jump into number one, it is important to keep in mind before you leave a negative comment because you know all of these features, that doesn't mean that everybody that's interested in purchasing a bolt or or looking into it and at least learning about it knows all these features so i'm proud of you congrats for knowing all of these features but just because you do doesn't mean that everyone does so just keep that in mind before you leave a negative comment all right for number one let's start here in the cabin now as you guys know this infotainment system here is chock full of features you've got wireless carplay you've got your energy menu you've got all your standard radio bluetooth but there's also a lot of hidden settings inside of this display that don't come enabled by default from the factory. So let's take a look at a couple of those now. So first and foremost, if we go into settings and we go to vehicle and we scroll down to comfort and convenience features, you have a couple different options. Uh, one of them is the chime volume and that will allow you to, uh, you know, turn up or turn down the annoying chimes like uh, seat belt, door ajar, headlights left on, things like that. That's cool in and of itself. But the next one down, the auto wipe in reverse gear is super handy and does not come turned on by default from the factory. So if we go ahead and toggle that on. Now what this does is it basically makes the rear wiper into an automatic wiper based on what your front wipers are doing when in reverse. So basically what I mean by that is if it is raining outside or you're trying to clear your windshield, it's all dirty or whatever. If you have your front wipers turned on, even if your rear wipers are not turned on, put your foot on the brake, go into reverse, that rear wiper will start going to clear off the back windshield, even though the wipers are not turned on. Whereas normally if this was not turned on, we had the wipers on, we go in reverse that wiper doesn't move. So it's a little thing, it's nothing huge or groundbreaking, but it's a nice just convenience thing to not have to turn both wipers on when it's actually raining outside, just to be able to turn on your main wipers, get your front windshield cleaned up, start moving around, and have that back windshield go ahead and clear off for you automatically. Now the only downside is this doesn't work when you go into drive. So if you were like in a some kind of parking spot where you're facing outward and you still wanted to clear your back windshield if it's raining or muddy or something, you're still gonna have to do that manually using the controls here. But I think they're assuming that maybe you're in a driveway or something like that where you need to be able to see out your back window to go in reverse and it's wet or dirty or whatever. And so it automatically cleans it for you. So just keep that in mind. Oh, uh, these aren't hidden features. Everybody knows these. Just read the freaking manual. Uh, uh. You know what, Terrence? You know when the last time someone read a manual was? Never. Now this is a feature that you can find on most Chevys and honestly a lot of other vehicles, but it's really nice to have and it's not enabled by default. So if we go to settings again, vehicle, scroll down to remote, lock, unlock and start, hit that. You have a lot of different options. You can change kind of how the feedback works when you're using your key fob to unlock the vehicle, whether you want, um, you know, which doors you want to unlock and so on and so forth. A lot of nice customization in there, but you have this one here, remote window operation. So if we go ahead and toggle that, now what will happen is you're able to put all of your windows down using the key fob without being in the vehicle at all. Let's take a look. So this is super helpful on like a hot sunny day. If you've got kids in the car, pets in the car, things like that, you're walking away, you wanna be able to keep them cool, give them air, just press and hold on that lock button and drop the windows nice and easy. Now, the only downside is I cannot for the life of me, and I've tried not only on this vehicle, but plenty of other vehicles to get the windows to go back up. You can't hold lock and get them to go back up or anything like that. So if you guys know how to do it, drop it in the comments down below, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's not possible. So this is just a one-way thing. If you wanna put the windows back up, gotta hop in, turn on the car and do that. All right, let's get to number three. You guys probably know that your Bolt already has wireless CarPlay. If you're on 2022, if you're anything prior, you've got wired CarPlay, but wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto here. Now that's cool in and of itself, but that's not exactly a hidden feature but there is a nice little shortcut that is a hidden feature. Now this works not only on the 2022s, but also in previous models to do this same thing. But let's say you're just deep inside of this charging menu, just messing with stuff, but you real 
real quick want to get back to CarPlay and change the song or pause your podcast or something like that, instead of hitting all the arrows and X's or using the home button over here to get back and then selecting CarPlay, doing that whole nine, all you got to do is press and hold the home button. And just like that, it snaps right back to CarPlay. But again, this also works with Android Auto. So whatever system you're using, it pops right back to where you're at. Not only that, but it saves what you were doing. So let's say I was in Overcast and I was uh, listening to a different podcast here. So i am got that playing and I'm back in this energy menu doing stuff and oh, I wanna pause it because I can't really pay attention to both, press and hold, and then boom, it takes me right back to the last app that I was using on CarPlay or Android Auto or anything like that. So just a really nice, quick and easy way to get right back to what you were doing on CarPlay without having to use all of the back buttons and things to work your way back to it. But for numbers four and five, we need to hop into the back. All right, so coming around back here, you've got a couple little nice things like this uh, cargo shade, which you can actually remove. It's pretty simple. It pops off just like that. Same on the other side. You can go ahead and, and get rid of this bad boy, but uh, that's not particularly uh, hidden here. This little floor here is really cool. It's a flat floor, so you can get the seats folded down, get a lot of extra storage space, but you can also grab this little tab right here and lift up, and you get access to more storage up underneath, but you can also remove this floor altogether if you need a little bit of extra storage space there. I keep things uh, like my backpack, charging plug down here. Oh, what is this? Mets Tech merch, Lincoln bio. I'm just playing. No, but really, I'm hungry, go buy a shirt. That's cool and all, but you can actually take this floor, slide it all the way down to the bottom, and it lays completely flat, so you get the exact same kind of carpeted, textured material, and a place to store this folded flat floor if you need extra space. But wait, there's more. If we go ahead and take the fold flat floor out, you can actually lift up this other piece down here and you get access to some tools and additional storage space. So this is like where you would traditionally be able to fit like a spare tire, although this bolt does not come with a spare tire, but you do have some things back here which are very important, like your tow hook here, which you would be able to screw into uh, either that spot there in the back or the other spot in the front if you do need to get this bolt towed. So that's where that is. But you could fit more things back here, like a first aid kit, blankets, things like that, that you could keep hidden under the floor so they don't take up more of your normal storage space. They're just nicely tucked away. So. Tons of flexibility when it comes to storage space here in the back of the Bolt EV here. But let's jump to number five. I guarantee you, you guys didn't know about this one. Check this out. So I actually found this by accident. I was just lifting this part of the seat up and I felt that there was a little bit of storage down here. So I was like, oh, that's really cool. You can access some extra storage just by lifting up and sliding something under here. But then I found these clips. So there's two clips, one right here, which you can slide over and lift up, comes free. Then there's another one right here. Go ahead and slide over and lift up. And voila, this entire seat bottom lifts up and folds. Now, I think they do this because you have access to the, I'm not really sure what it is. It's bright orange and I'm not gonna touch it at all, especially because it's bright orange. But if you guys know exactly what that is, let me know down in the comments. But I think that's the main reason why you can do this is to be able to access that. But it gives you a, small, no doubt, but super, super secure little storage spot right here. There's one on both sides and there's nothing in there right now. So if I wanted to store something, uh, let's say I had to uh, go, I don't know, on a hike or something and I wanted to leave my wallet in the car, but I didn't want to leave it in the glove box uh, because you can't lock the glove box. Don't know why. And I didn't want to leave it in the center console. I could take it, it's perfect size, stick it right there, push these seats back, lock them into place, they don't move anymore, and boom, my wallet is secure right under this little armrest. And honestly, I don't even need to open it to get it back out. I can just lift up a little bit, reach in there, grab my wallet right out. It's that simple. So a little bit of extra hidden storage if you really need a super secure place to put a valuable under the rear seats. Now you guys know I never just give you five features. I always like to give you more than that, just a couple quick bonus features. You may know about these. They're really not even that like, hidden necessarily where you have to dig through menus. They're just little tips that you may not know that your vehicle can do. So let's run through those real quick. One of them is your auto high beams. So it's this little button right here on the stocks of the light switch. Now you may have seen it and just not known what it does, but if you go ahead and push that, it's gonna enable your auto high beams. 
So whenever you are driving, it's gonna keep your normal beams up, like you're driving at night, normal beams are up. Then whenever there's not a vehicle in front of you oncoming, it will go ahead and flash those high beams up. So you can drive normally with those high beams on for extra visibility. And then when it detects an oncoming vehicle, it will automatically, boom, dim those high beams without you having to touch this stock at all. And I like to inform you guys as much as I like to learn. And while doing research and trying to figure things out for this video, I did stumble upon these little loops right here, but I can't for the life of me decide or kind of decipher what these little loops are. So if you guys know it all, uh, what this little loop does or what its main purpose is, definitely leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to learn and maybe uh, inform people in the next video. And then the last little hidden bonus feature I wanted to show you guys, I talked about this a lot in my Blazer Hidden Features video over on my Bachman channel. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. But Chevy loves to hide these little bow ties all over the place. And you can see there's one little orange Chevy bow tie right on this little side reflector light right here, which is super cool. I couldn't find any other bow ties like hidden necessarily around the vehicle, but I love that they just throw in little touches like that that really make every little piece of the bolt feel like a cohesive Chevy product. So nothing super consequential, but it is neat that they did that. And that is your last little bonus hidden feature. So thanks so much for watching guys. Drop a like in the video if this was helpful. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite or did I miss one that is your favorite? Let's have a conversation down in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.